sorry. <sighs> Hello everybody, this is Queen Static here. I don't know why I threw my notebook on the floor, because I have some notes written down. Yeah, I know there's more stuff in the background now, yay! Um, that's not my stuff. My clothes are on the bed in the back, but, uh, well, that stuff back here, that's not my stuff. <laughs> Those boxes and stuff. Um, anyway, I'm here today because it's September and everybody's gone back to school. And I didn't do a back to school video because I'm lame and I don't go to school anymore because I decided that I was going to take some time off of college because it's expensive. Um, so I'm a little late to the party because I know everybody else has done back to school videos and stuff like that. But, um, I haven't. But I've noticed that people are doing their how I wore my makeup in high school look. This is how I wore my makeup in high school. I didn't wear any makeup in high school. Um, so, you know, it was kind of... It, it's kind of weird for me to watch them do these videos because I was like, I, I didn't wear makeup in high school. I don't wear makeup. And, you know, still don't wear a lot of makeup to date. But that's okay. Um, so, I'm, instead I'm going to talk about the misconceptions about my major, I guess. Um, now, I worked in retail, like, the whole time that I was in college. And I'd tell people, you know, they'd ask what I was going to school for. I'd be like, oh, I'm a music performance major. Oh, what's your instrument? You know, a voice. Oh, you're musical, you sing musical theater. At that time, I didn't sing, like, any musical theater pieces. So I was like, no. No, I don't, I don't sing musical theater. I'm not a musical theater major. I'm a music performance major. Oh, well, what does that mean? Um, well, I could teach after I get my d degree at community college. Not afterwards, but, you know, I could go into a music education degree from the music performance degree I was in at that time. Or I could go into music performance, or I could go into sound recording and technology, you know, there's so many different avenues that I could have gone from music performance. And I realized while well, I was in school for music performance that that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to perform for people. I wanted to see the reactions that I got from people and, you know, all of that stuff. That was my thing after a while. But no, um, you know, so a lot of people would assume that. Or I'd tell them, oh yeah, I'm a voice major. Oh, that's really cool, you know. But you could be like Beyonce or Taylor Swift or something. You guys could sing like that. And I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, yeah, I sing pop music, but that's that's not my major. That's not what I do, you know. Come on. So, you know, I started writing down some questions here. Um, you know, doesn't mean that I do musicals. I don't mind singing musicals. I've recently started singing songs from musical theater in my lessons, and they've kind of grown on me. I'm not used to singing them. You know, I was singing them a little bit at Fredonia, too, because I was participating in, you know, a couple of events that one of the, the clubs that I was in on campus did. So I got to know a little bit about musical theater then. But I didn't really know much about musical theater. I still don't know much about musical theater. But um, I'd rather be on stage, you know, performing, like, classical music. And I know how weird and corny and cheesy that sounds, but, you know, that's that's me. That's what I want to do. I like classical music. <laughs> um, and I know a lot of you guys are probably cringing right now. Like, oh, my God. Ugh, why does she like classical music? There's, to me, there's a certain beauty and artistry behind classical music. You know, you don't realize the amount of talent that it takes to sing classical music until you actually do it yourself. And that's why a lot of the pop artists that are classically trained are just like, you know, they're more solid in their voice than other pop singers. But I still listen to like all pop music. I don't care, you know, what training they have or hadn't had. I still like music. Music in general. Um, also, when you tell people that you're a music performance major, mm -hmm. they don't really know quite what to think about it. They're just like, Oh, are you prepared to live in a cardboard box your whole life? And it's like, yes, I am. I'm so prepared to live in a cardboard box. Okay, 
I'm working a job in retail. Um, at that time, I wasn't full time, so I was probably getting like I don't know, maybe 20 hours a week. I wasn't getting a lot, a lot of you know hours, which is fine. I was in college full time. I couldn't couldn't get a lot of hours. It was impossible to work full time and have a full time. You know, go to school full time. I can't talk today. So. A lot of times when they asked me that, I was just thinking in my head, I was like, well, I was like, it's not going to take off right out the door, you know, you have to start performing at places and start doing other things. And, you know, when I finally did go away to school and I started performing with groups and stuff like that, even when I was performing in the haunted house, I love that. that that's one of the things that I extremely miss from college, but maybe I'll talk about that, like, the end of September or something. Not not for my last Dark Sunday. We've already gone over what those are. Maybe just for another, maybe even in October or November, I'll talk about what I miss about school. Anyway, back to my, my rant about music majors and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, that's all I've written down now. But, so essentially, what I'm trying to say is, is that if somebody says that they're a music major, or a music performance major, you know, talk to them, ask them, well, you know, what what types of music do you perform? You know, let them tell you. Don't just assume that they sing something or that they perform something, because, you know, they might be a saxophone major, and they might want to play jazz, but they have to study classical music first. There's a lot of that going on as well. Um, when I was at Fredonia, a lot of the musical theater majors also had to do classical music, just because of the similarities in the two. Now, there's differences in musical theater and singing classical music, but knowing the classical technique definitely helps with the musical theater technique. I know, I'm getting into all these, like, nerdy music things right now. But, um, I think that, you know, having to answer so many questions while I was in school was just nerve-wracking, to say the least, I guess. I don't know. But, you know, it was pretty crazy. And while I was out at college, like away at Fredonia, I was thinking that I was never going to amount to anything because I was no longer a music performance major. I was actually a business administration major with a concentration in music industry. And I can tell you right now, I hated it. I had to take economics. I had to take accounting. I'm not good at math. I'm not good at these subjects. Subjects that I don't like, I just shut off from. Like, I can do history. I love history. Um, I can do English. I love English, too. You know, I was a writing minor. You guys probably didn't know that. My uh, professor actually tried to talk me into getting into the poetry track instead of the fiction track because he liked my poems so much, but... That's a story for another day as well. But, um, yeah, you know, when I was out at Fredonia, I was in, like, this deep, deep, dark hole. And I realized that there's a different outlet for my performance. And you guys are watching me on it right now. And I probably wouldn't have noticed that if I hadn't had my friend do live streaming on Twitch. I probably would have never figured out that, you know, like, YouTube Let's Players exist and stuff like that. And I was like, wow. I was like, I can make videos like this. I could put them up on YouTube, and I could get people to like me. Mind you, I had already had a whole bunch of videos up on YouTube. I think maybe, maybe like 11 or 12, no. I probably had like 8 or 9 up on YouTube. Um, those are all private now, so you can't see them. But there are a lot of, a lot of the first like pop songs that I wrote, because I used to want to be a pop singer from like the time I was little until, you know, maybe just into the beginning of community college, I wanted to be a pop singer. And things changed when I started studying classical music. You know, I realized I really like this music. But I also still, you know, like to write my own lyrics, and I like to do my own stuff. I'm not that great at writing songs, but maybe I'll write some and I'll try to put some up on here. That's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, I mean... I never, I never got my degrees. I got a certificate, which you guys saw in one of the videos. It's called "I Did It." Um, but I really, 
I really enjoyed my time in school. I really enjoyed the things that I learned in school. You know, I wouldn't take back going to school for anything, and definitely not majoring. Like, I wouldn't take back majoring in music either. I loved it so much. And if I had never found YouTube, I probably wouldn't be doing anything right now. I probably wouldn't be doing anything performance-based. probably wouldn't be taking lessons. I don't know. I just... I have a lot of like self-esteem issues and YouTube makes me feel great because I can like right now this is just like a venting vlog where I can do whatever I want and be real and do all these hand gestures and beat myself up that actually hurts um <laughs> but yeah you know I can do things like be real with people and you guys will listen I know not a lot of people watch these but you know when people do stumble across them, they can watch them, and I hope that it makes them feel awesome when they do watch them. It's just, you know, I I needed an outlet where I could be myself. I mean, being a music major was tough. I miss, like, theory and all of that, and I do want to go back. I do want to get my degrees. I want to finish up, but, you know, right now I'm just trying to get my YouTube channel off the ground. I'm trying to get back on my feet again after the struggles that I've been having the past few months in my own life. Um, trying to make it so that I can get my own space where I can do my own thing. All of that stuff. And also to kick these allergies because they've been horrible this summer. Like right now my throat is so dry. I came from a voice lesson. My throat should not be this dry. And, like, I feel like I'm not warmed up. This right here is all warmed up. should not be this way. But, you know, I know that this video is probably another rambling video. My videos are going downhill. I know, I know, I know. But don't worry. I'm going to have some really exciting things coming up for October. I think I've said this in every video. You know, I'm excited to do some Halloween-based stuff. I think I'm going to start recording for that over the next couple weeks. Um, I'm going to try my hardest to get back onto my recording schedule. I know I've been saying that so much, but, like, I realize what day it is, and then I'm like, oh, my God, I never edited a video. I won't have time to edit and upload today. And then I'm like, oh, my God. That's why the Static Sunday that I put out this past Sunday was actually supposed to be for the week before. Um, yeah. And I've also been having weekends off, too, which today's the first weekday that I've had off since I started my new job. Okay, so that's it for today. I know I rambled a lot, and I probably made no sense lots and lots and lots of times. But I'm getting good at that. Um, so remember to follow me on all my social medias that are linked down below. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps to know that you guys like silly rambly videos like this, which are probably going to be a lot of my static Sundays, especially if I keep not planning them out the way that I want to. Um, also, hit the subscribe button down below. I have a small community that is very, very small. I want to make it bigger, called the Static Sphere, and we have a lot of positivity in this community. I don't like trolls and negativity because it brings people down, not only me, but everybody else. So let's try to be positive in this community. And remember to share a smile today. See you guys all next time. Bye!